In this lecture, we are going to learn about some problems on deterministic finite automata where you have to design some DFAs. So, our first problem type is you are given the string length. Okay, so the examples are like your alphabet is 0, 1. And first is that your string length should be 3. The next one is you have to design an DFA that accepts strings whose length is less than equal to 3. And the final one is you have to design some DFA whose string length is greater than or equal to 3. So let's see the first one. So the exact, the string length is exact, it's 3. So if you have 0 and 1 as the string, so this one is finite length, okay, finite, the language is finite because 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, like this, it goes on till 1, 1, 1, okay. So this is the size 3. So what you need to do? We need to design an automaton for this, okay, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and this, okay. So let's try to see how to accept such strings whose length is 3. So I have a start state. Then what happens? I have to count the number of symbols in the string. So I will get 0 or 1. So now the count, let's represent the count is 0 now. When I get something 0 or 1, some symbol, now after reading it, count is 1. So the states are, I have count is 0, count is 1, count is 2, count is 3 and should we proceed like till infinity? So we don't in fact, we will see why. So count is 3, is the uh, count is 2 and then count is 3 and our aim is to find all the strings whose string length is 3. So after that, whatever is there, I can have a state where count is greater than 3. Let's say like this. So these five states, okay, count is 0, count is 1, count is 2, count is 3, count is greater than 3. Will it be sufficient? So I get a 0 or a 1, I come to count 1 because string length will become 1. Again, 0 or a 1, count length becomes 2 the string length then again I get a 0 or a 1 I have count of the string uh, the string length is 3 now and this is my final state isn't it because I'm accepting now when I get the length 3 I should accept but somehow if you get something more than 0 or 1 now count has become greater than 3 and it can never reduce now so after this, if the count has become more than 3, whatever you get 0 or 1, you are never going to reach the final state or acceptance state. So this is called the dead state. Oh, what is a dead state? So from a state, if there is no path to any final state, that's called a dead state. Because now if the count has become more than 3, so you can never reach now, you will only be, the count will only increase further. So it's a dead state. So let's see the automaton. So try with few examples, 0, 0, 0. So I get a 0, I go from count 0 to count 1, state 1. Again a 0, I come here to state 2, two zeros. Third 0 I see, count becomes 3 and it has ended. So 0, 0, 0 is accepted because what happens? So let's call this state as C0, C1, C2, C3 and C4. So what happens? I'm at C0, I get a 0, I go to C1, I get a 0, I go to C2 because now the count is 2, I get a 0 again, the count is 3 and this is the final state. But let's see if you have 1, 0, 1, 0, what happens? I get I, from C0, I get a 1. So what will happen? I will go to state C1. Again, I get 0. So I'm at C1, I get a 0. I go to state C2. At C2, I'm here. I get a 1. I will go to state C3. 
and at c3 if i get a zero i go to state c4 and now so c4 i have processed the whole string and this is not the final state so it's working so now this was for mod w is some constant it's three so you need how many states for this if you see one two three four five states are needed so five states let's try to move further so now when your sigma is 0 1 and your mod w is less than equal to 3 let's say it's less than equal to 3 so what should happen now so now i should accept if the length is less than equal to 3 so it means if count is 0 it is fine count is 1 it is fine count is 2 it's fine and count is 3 is also fine so these are the accepted state acceptance state but if count becomes greater than 3 then you have to reject so how should we proceed so we will design an automaton so c0 count is 0 then let us have c1 count is 1 c2 count is 2 c3 count is 3 and then c4 or c4 plus let's write and what happens this is a reject state so when i will start here and let's see what happens now so i get now i just need to count so even a zero comes or a one comes both way the count will increase so a zero or a one comes i will go to state c1 length has become one now i again see a zero or a one length has become two i see a zero or a one length has become three so three is the count now and but if it increases from three then I go into C4 plus and here it's a dead state. Now, whatever I will see, it will only increase the count and I will never come to W is less, mod W is less than equal to 3. So, this is a accepted state. This is also final state. This is final state. This is final state. But this is not final state. Okay. This is the start state also now what will happen if you have something like 0 0 then you come here in the start state i get a 0 count becomes 1 i get a 0 i go to state c2 so the length of the string is 2 it is accepted because it's in the final state now if you have 0 1 0 0 1 so i start from c0 i get a 0 I go to C1, count becomes 1 now, I get a 1. From C1, I get a 1, I go to C2. C2, I get a 0, I go to C3. C3, I get a 0, I go to C4. Okay. And then I get a 1, then I still remain in C4. So, what does it tell so finally after processing the string i'm at c4 which is a not final state so this is reject so this is rejected now so now how many states do we have so it should have been less than or equal to 3 so 0 1 2 3 are all fine but this one is not fine so they are again five states now let's try to see the next problem mod w is greater than equal to 3 okay so mod w is less than equal to 3 if mod w it was less than less than 3 what would have happened then till here it was fine when it moved to 3 or greater then here itself I would have put 0 1 this was a dead state okay so mod w is greater than equal to 3 
So again, sigma is 0, 1. So I start. So count. So this is count 0. I move to count 1, count 2, and count 3. Do we need more than C3? So if the count is 3 or greater, then I'm done. So what will happen? If you get a 0 or a 1, I will go to 1, the string length becomes 1. 0 or a 1, the string length becomes 2. 0 or a 1, string length becomes 3. After 3, whatever you get, how many, whatever number of 0 or 1s, we are in the final state. Okay, we have accepted it. It is greater than or equal to 3. So this is our final state. So let's try to see. So we have 0, 0. If this is the case or 0, 1, what will happen? So I'm here 0. I see a 0. I come to C1. I see a 0. I come to C2. But C2 is not the final state. So this is rejected. 0, I come here. 1, I come here. Again, it is in C2. Reject. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So 1, I come to C1. 0, I come to C2. So let's try to write this one. C0, I see a 1, I go to C1, I see a 0, I go to C2. Then I see a 1, I go to C3. Mm, then I see a 1, so I remain in C3 now. And I see a 1, I remain in C3, So which is an accepted state. So four states are required here. So now if I want to generalize, let's say I want to generalize this problem. If your mod W is equal to N, in this case, what will you do? How many states will we have if I have to solve this problem? So again, it should be C0 state, C1, C2, C3 till Cn. And if it becomes greater than Cn, so Cn plus 1, so here it will become a dead state because anything greater than this okay so these this is the final state and anything above this this is a dead state so there will be n plus 2 states here mod w is less than equal to n so again you have c0 c1 c2 c3 till cn so all of these are accepted state, okay? And if it increases above it, Cn plus 1, greater, something like this, it is a dead state. So again, 0, 1, 2, n, n plus 1, so n plus 2. Now if I go to C0, C1, C2, so the third case is mod W is greater than or equal to n. Okay, uh, small n, I was writing. So I have greater than n, so I will go to Cn and anything above this. So what will happen? It will be accepted. So this will be the accepted state and anything above this. So n plus 1 state. Let's try to see what will happen if I change a bit. Mod w is less than n. What will happen then? So it should be less than n. So C0, C1, C2 state will be there. 2 is the string length till Cn minus 1. So these are accepted state. If it goes beyond this, so what will happen? Anything above this will go to a dead state Cn greater than. And then we will require so n plus 1 state in this case. If mod W is greater than N, how many is required? So what will happen? C0, C1, C2 till Cn minus 1. So Cn minus 1 if it becomes, so anything greater than this will be fine. So there will be a loop here. So N is the number of states that is required okay 
so i hope you understand this problem where we are given the string length uh, something like that okay the length of the string should be n length of the string should be 3 and something like that and then you have to design the dfa and few things that you have to notice that for dfa you need to check that at each state you have transitions for both all the symbols in the alphabet like here if you see we have 0 1 for each state we have taken the transition function is there here also if you see for 0 1 in all the states we have here also we have for all the states so i hope you enjoyed this lecture thanks a lot